All right, guys, this is the third time. I'm going to try to make it even quicker because my phone shuts off and says the memory's full, but the sun's about gone. It's fixing to be dark. I guess it's going on 9 o'clock, 8.30 at least. Here's rule number one. Always be facing out. All right? I mean, I don't care if you're at Walmart, camping, whatever. Be facing out. You never know what's going to go down. Camping, boogering, whatever. Have you plenty of firewood? I'm going to bring in some more. I got enough for two nights so far. Uh, make noise. <clears throat> Let them know you're here. They're going to know you're here if they're close. Bailey! But make some, make some good noise. Uh, back to firewood. Have little dry stuff ready to go. If you need to shed some light on the situation. You don't want to be stumbling around in the dark looking for firewood. <clears throat> uh, I've got me a, a little knocker here, a little piece of hickory I use for a knocker. And uh, me personally, I would recommend, you know, that goes with the making noise. You can make, make knocks. Don't get carried away. I wouldn't do more than three. Like in a row and I wouldn't do more than a dozen during the night but make it make noise let them know you're here they will get curious and they will come in uh, I'm by myself tonight my friends all have jobs and uh, it's Friday night and uh, you know this is kind of a spur of the moment thing I'm gonna be going into Logan tomorrow to help my dad work on his truck but uh Whenever you go camping, I would recommend doing it with friends. Heck, the experience is always better whenever you got somebody to experience it with. But, uh, you know, sit around and talk like normal people, but then have like a, a code word for everyone shut up. And we've done this a couple times. And every time we catch them making noise, using our noise as cover up. I should have brought a radio with me, but, uh, I almost did, but I don't have no batteries for it. <clears throat> but that's all right. I'm sure, you know, one sailor out here will be brave enough to come in and check me out. But, uh, yeah, have a, have a code word for everybody shut up. Uh, one of the people, and if she wants to mention, you know, who she is, let y'all know who she is. Uh, you know, I always say, if you want to find evidence, get out and look for it. I mean, these things are, they're going to be in places you're not going to think they're at. Um, and she sent me some good pictures. She's found tracks and everything. And I'm, I'm tickled to death that she's found it. But, uh, okay, I guess this is long enough. But, yeah, get out and experience this, guys. I mean, it's supposed to be nice tonight. And down to about 60, I got my regular camera. Uh, I just wanted to do this as a quick update video. Um, get out, make some noise, and then get in your camp and settle down. I've got three tiki torches. If I, I'll, I'll have it lit up. I'm up on the ridge line. Uh, I mentioned this in the last video. I didn't end this. But I'll go ahead. Give them some high ground. I'm out in the open here, so, and they got plenty of cover. They can sneak up and, and watch me. But give them cover. You stay out and open a little bit. Give them some high ground. And if they're around and you let them know that you're around, then they're going to come and check you out. I'd say if they're around, they'll be here tonight to check me out. See what I'm about. And it's nothing to be scared of. I used to go camping all the time. Never was messed with. I mean, I, as a kid, I would go camping all by myself because I just like it. And uh, now that I know these things are here, it's just another excuse for me to get out and do stuff. But uh, I'm about to ready to go over here and hit the old hammock and uh, listen for a while. I went back and started cutting grass and recorded. I, I might listen to that a little bit and uh, see if maybe I caught anything on my recording. But, yeah, I would recommend people getting out and and see it for yourself i can't sit here if i videotaped one and it walked right there in front of me and warmed its old butt by the fire people wouldn't believe it of course i probably wouldn't believe it either but uh 
I get out and experience it. These things are real. I mean, it'll, it'll trip you out what you can find out here. Experiment with it, have fun with it, and uh, yeah, just get out. Bring your friend, bring your kids. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful out here. And even if you don't have a booger coming to camp, uh, it's still going to be pretty, pretty fun, pretty exciting stuff. All right, y'all have a good weekend. God bless.